I'll be honest with you guys. When I first uh, transferred my information over to the new PlayStation that I had, I felt that something like this would happen. And unfortunately, it did. Uh, it's mostly due to me being a fucking idiot. So I'll take that as is. But the fact that I've still lost 200 hours worth of completion with any part of this game really does suck. The one thing that I'm glad is still there though, however, is my trophies because I'm at, I think, 50% or 60 with both of the games. And I'm just very, very happy that those are not deleted because if those were to have been deleted, I would still play the game and I really wouldn't go for those fucking trophies again because as much as I love this series, I've loved this series even before Call of Duty. Assassin's Creed was my first ever actual series that I got into, especially as a kid. From the first one till now, I just would have been just completely done if the trophies would have been gone. But my trophies are still here. My in-game uh, cosmetic items, the weapons, the uniforms, and the such. Well, weapons wouldn't really be the cosmetic. They have different attributes and whatnot depending on the game. But I still have those. I'm very happy about that. But like I said, it's it really does suck losing that much progression. Although, to be fair, when I had beaten Origins for the second time, for example, I was getting kind of bored of it, not going to lie, only because I felt like I had almost done just about everything. I mean, I hadn't discovered every little tiny location uh, or anything like that. Uh, I haven't really done it with Odyssey either. I plan on doing it now because it is a trophy for this game. That's why I'm kind of taking it slow, so a lot slower, because like I've already spent 12 hours on this game, and I'm only on the second uh, progression part of the story, and I'm only on one part of Greece right now. Although, one has to think how I was so stupid to not realize that something like this would happen, and I should have honestly figured that it would. And by the time I was already initializing, which for those of you who do not know, when you initialize your PS4, that's just uh, another term for resetting it to factory. Now, unfortunately, I saw that helpful little tip on my PlayStation Pro that I bought well after I had already halfway initialized my older uh, PS4. So I was fucked. I was fucked. There was no way. I mean, I stopped it immediately, but... There was nothing I can do. I had to, obviously, when you do that, you re-download all, re -download all your games, which I did. But, uh, I, again, I was very, very sad to see that it was all gone. Now, that does not mean that I'm going to stop playing these games. Eventually, I'm going to work my way back to Origins because if my memory serves me correctly, I do believe that there's not going to be an Assassin's Creed this year. I think they're taking another break, but don't hold me to that. Uh, I might be completely wrong, but... I just feel like I've seen an article about that and whatnot. But I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was kind of a quick thing. I just really wanted to touch upon it because it's a huge thing to me to lose that much uh, progression. Now, with that being said, though, there are some good aspects of it because I do get to play as another character now instead of completely restarting over, which I never wanted to do as the other character. And, you know, many, many other things. But uh, it it'll all work out, guys. Uh, also, thank you for getting us to 300 subscribers. I believe we're at like 303 now. Huge milestone. Uh, we're just going to keep on going. And uh, this has been Goat, guys. I'm still trying to find my dad, and there's a flower in my ass. Stay goaty.